Right, here we go. It's a 1996 Spec 2 Nissan Skyline. I've had it for a couple of weeks now. I don't know a lot about the modifications. I'll have a walk about. I think it's a standard front. Uh, Spec 2's got squarer headlights, more aggressive body line on the bonnet. Uh, also, the fog lamps and indicators are a bit different. As you can see, we've got front mounted intercooler there. You can just see the joint pipe there. It's got aftermarket alloys, 18 inch. It's got fiberglass wings on the front. You can see different folding door mirrors. I think that's standard. I think they're after, I think they're wings aftermarket. Not sure on that one. Walk around. Two, four, five size tyres on the back. And there's the rear. It's got illuminated skyline rear badge. Aftermarket exhaust. If anyone knows or can identify these parts, feel free to uh, leave a comment. And the side skirts are also aftermarket, along with the rear spats. And if you see, everything's blended. Everything's blended in. All right, you can see it's just starting raining, so let's get inside and have a look. Actually, I just locked it, so that's it unlocked. Right, interior is pretty tidy. It's got aftermarket plasma dials, aftermarket Momo steering wheel. It's got this uh, uh, stainless steel surround thing around the gear, gear stick, interior lights, blue. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Brand new interior, it's just been reupholstered. Right, so there's quite a lot of room in the back. Can't really see from this camera angle, but there's enough room for a child seat there. All spanking leather. Get inside. Ugh. Right, make sure it's in neutral. And then I'll fire up. Let's have a listen. There we go. All these snazzy gadgets. Uh, Pexi airflow converter. I've got the BR manual rev limiter. I've got this snazzy gadget here. It's the boost controller. Like I say, so for people who are not aware of Skyline's interiors but are interested in them, you've got standard boost gauge, rev counter, obviously speedo, fuel, and then you've got oil pressure there as well. It's got uh, folding mirrors, as you can see this fold out like that. Spec 2's got the airbag, which the Spec 1 hasn't got. I don't think I'll ever use it. Yeah, so it's not a bad interior. It's quite important when I was looking for one to get a decent interior because obviously a lot of cloth seats they get worn easy. So that's the insides. There we go. Let's get an idea of what the exhaust sounds like. I'll try and get some footage of it popping flames later. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet. Right, here we go. There's the engine. It's got quite a lot of dressing on it. It's got some uh, coloured hoses and other shiny parts. It wasn't important for me to get a decent looking engine, but it's just a bonus that came with this one. As you can see, you got your intercooler down there. That's your uh, air filter. I say so. It's quite tidy. Let's have a sound of that. too bad so there you go there's the engine
All right, so there you go. That's my Spec 2 1996 Nissan Skyline. You can see it's quite tidy, there's no rust on it. It's quite a straight car, in good condition. It's not bad for its year.